Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Our first guest is Connor Price, Vice President of Business Development at Tower Investments Inc. Connor, welcome to the show, my friend. Mike, great to be here. It's been a long time coming. I'm so excited to be here at Stockton University. Talk a little bit about what's going on in Atlantic City and obviously thrilled to be doing it with you. I appreciate so, it again. Yeah. Again, I know you're a busy man. So Connor, listen, before we get started, Tower Investments, you're doing all kinds of uh, things there, whether it's Philly, Atlantic City. But first, let our listeners and our viewers get to know you a little bit. Tell Absolutely. us about you. Yeah, so first of all, thanks again for having me. Uh, my name is Connor Price. I am the Vice President of Business Development at Tower Investments. We are the ownership company of the showboat in Atlantic City and tons of other properties and land and so forth. Um, and I've been with the ownership company now for seven years. Um, my story of how I started at Tower is a little bit peculiar. It's not as traditional as a typical career path. Um, the owner of my company, Bart Blatstein, um, you know, he's been developing in Philadelphia for close to 40 plus years at this point. And I grew up outside of the city. I've been watching uh, Bart develop uh, real estate since you know high school. You know, you'd hear about these crazy stories of what he was doing in Philly, and it was always inspiring to me. Um, in fact, one time when I was at college at Penn State, I even wrote a, a paper on one of his developments in Philadelphia. Um, so it's just been a long, a borderline obsession with the work he was doing in Philly. And uh, you know, my my father is actually from Linwood, right outside of Atlantic City. So I've always had an affixation with Atlantic City. Um, anyway, I was living out in California, and after Bart and Tower purchased the showboat, um, I guessed Bart's email address, and I wrote him like a five-page thesis on why I wanted to no, work for him. wait a minute, you guessed his I guessed his email address. Okay. I, I think I tried four or five different iterations <laughs> right. before I got through to him. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't rocket science, I figured right. it out. But uh, you know, I sent him this long paper after he bought showboat on why I wanted to work for him. Um, you know, it's something very atypical for a developer to go into a, a, at that point um, a risky town and, and you know really put his foot on the ground and say this is where I want to be um, and he actually responded to my email all he did was give me his phone number and I picked up the phone immediately called him we spent five or six hours on the phone that day uh, talking about Atlantic City showboat myself um, and eventually you know a couple more phone calls later he put me on the spot and said you're either in or you're out um, and I said, no hesitation, I'm in. And before I knew it, I was in a minivan driving across the country from California back to where I grew up with my mom. So uh, nice. anyway, that's, you know, I've been there ever since, seven years now with Bart and Tower. That's pretty awesome. And listen, we, I wasn't going to go towards this uh, direction with our interview, but uh, I'm talking to you students and, and young entrepreneurs yep. and, and old heads like myself. You, you took the bull by the horn, so yep. to speak, and said, let me put myself out there. And you did. And, and it came back. Yep. You know what I mean? It, it, that's so inspirational, Connor. So you talk about Tower Investments. He did some great things and is doing great things yep. out there in Pennsylvania and Philly with uh, uh, Li Northern Liberties and whatnot. Talk to us about the showboat now. We yep. come through, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch a little bit. You know, as I ride my bike through the boardwalk, uh, you know, daily since uh, 27, 2007, yep. full-time moving to Atlantic City, <laughs> uh, Taj Mahal closes. Yep. Steel Pier's open. Showboat's closed. The Revel closes, which yep. is now Ocean Casino. Bart buys. And I'm like, this guy, who, you know, yep. who is this? So, I mean, take us through that back sure. a little bit because yeah. it wasn't, you didn't have any neighbors, so yep. to speak. We did not. Um, you know, when we first bought Showboat, um, the Taj was on the verge of closing. Um, and then I think it was six, month, six months after we purchased Showboat, it did end up closing. So we were the only show in town in that entire part of the boardwalk. Bart and Tower and, my, you know, the president of our company, Brandon Dixon, who's been with Bart for 20 years now, um, you know, we were on ground zero. And Bart saw something that no one, no one else saw. It was a market that was ripe for growth, that uh, Bart could deploy his creative vision in so many different ways. Um, and so he ended up buying the showboat. Um, and for the first couple of years there, it was, it was weird. You know, we had this entire, you know, the, close to 6,000 rooms, and 75% of the rooms were dark, except for the showboat. You know, we always say we're like the little engine that could. Um, and then lo and behold, so we, we bought showboat in January of 2016. Um, the property was closed for about two years prior to us uh, reopening it. So just getting it, you know, all the cobwebs off the building, new mattresses, new TVs, you know, even getting the cable running with internet and so forth, was, it was a big process. Um, and, you know, we had a war room at the showboat where everyone kind of congregated. We had big post-it notes everywhere talking about action items. Love it. Um, and so we ended up opening in June of 2016. 
Um, that was our first foray into you know owning a hotel, operating a hotel. This is actually Tower's first hotel. Right. It's a big one. I it's actually on it. yeah, yeah. the largest non-casino hotel in the state of New Jersey. Um, and ever since we bought it, um, you know, Bart, Brandon, and the whole Tower Investments team has continued to invest in it and bring it back to a, a life, but in a different kind of way. Um, we are focused on families. Um, it's something that Bart prides himself on. Um, you know, he's got a big family and, and Tower, you know, every, it, we're a very family-driven organization as well. Um, so it's something that doesn't exist in our market, a year-round family-friendly, you know, resort destination. And Atlantic City is, is peculiar in the sense that it's a massive tourism market. There's 25 million people that come to Atlantic City every year. And most of the hotel product and, and resort product is driven around casinos. Um, so since, since you know, buying, we've, we've, and I'll talk a little bit about you know, the, the phases of how we got to where we are, um, it's all been focused on families and, and non-gaming, you know, which is one of the largest growth segments in Atlantic City is the non-gaming and you know, the food and beverage, the events, all that stuff. Um, that's our focus, and we, you know, we're cheerleaders for all the casinos. Uh, we want them to do well because a rising tide lifts all ships. Meeting Bart a few years ago on the boardwalk, um, just speaking with him, and I gave him kind of the rock eye when he was telling yeah. me what he wanted to do five, yeah. six years ago. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> what are you talking? But you know what? He's Mike. I'm a developer. This is what happens. Yep. It takes time. We have these plans, and I love when you talk about the war room, what you had there. Yep. But he did always focus on that with, with family. So as we go into, you know, the, the next few years, we, you know, 16, 17, 18, yep. kind of the pandemic, you know, we could touch on that though, but you started gearing towards that, you know, we the did. rooms and talking of the pet snake, pet friendly. So non-smoking. touch on that yeah. before we get to Lucky bigger, Snake yeah, and stuff. Raceway and yeah. bigger stuff. Touch on that. So, um, you know, Bart's got his grandkids and, and, and he was literally taking market surveys from his grandkids. What are you guys like? You know, what, and that's the way Bart operates and Tower <laughs> operates. It's creative. You, know, it's, you really deeply immerse yourself into you know, what's not in this market and what do people like. Um, so you know, we had this massive, at the time, it was a massive casino floor. It was 120,000 square feet. And the showboat, like I said, it's huge. Um, 1.6 million square feet under roof, tons of, of previously used uh, you know, venues at the showboat that were not being used at all when we first bought it. Um, so we stumbled our way, one of the first major things was into the events business. Um, and Atlantic City does a good job attracting large conventions, uh, you know, more for the associations and so forth. But um, one thing that we saw is that entrepreneurs in that field that are hosting conventions, whether it's a, an anime convention or a comic con or one of our larger events is the New Jersey Horror Con. Um, you know, so we, we really picked up our steam probably in late 2017 on booking large events. Um, and when I say events, like we're literally doing events that are hard to believe even exist. Right. Um, you know, we have the largest vegan food festival in the Northeast at the Atlanta, you know, at the show. I've boat. become a vegan fan yeah. because of you guys. <laughs> Connor, if you could Crazy. hold that thought right there. Sure, absolutely. We're going to go to a break and be right back. Folks, stay right where you're at. We'll be right back.